Okay, welcome to part three. We're going to go ahead and add the insulation between these studs over here. And we can use this as a map of where the insulation needs to go. So I'm going to adjust it over to a top view. It zooms out, but then I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle between these two studs, like so. And if you think about where the insulation goes, it goes in between each of these segments. So let's use the trim command and cut out all the excess material that we don't need. So we're just left with the insulation portions. So I'm going to use trim, enter, select everything, enter, and pretty much between the objects, that is what I'm trimming out. Okay. So for the corner pieces, you're essentially trimming out that portion and we could delete that line later. So I'm going to speed this up and you can just watch quickly or continue it yourself. Okay, and then I'm going to delete these scraps. Like so. Now that they've all been divided up, you might notice that if you hover over them that they're individual sections. Let's go ahead and join everything together. And the join command J, enter, not only works with one object at a time, but you can actually select multiple objects that aren't connected. And when you press enter, it'll combine all the segments into polylines as it sees fit. So now all of these are individual components. Now we're going to go ahead and extrude out our insulation, but there's a few I want you to reconsider. One is where the doorway goes. That's actually going to be a little bit thinner because we have this piece of plywood up here. And then the ones where the windows are. So these two are for the windows, but there's a bottom portion as well as a top portion. So we're going to need a copy of these ones. So let's start with that. I'm going to use the copy command to select those two, enter, and I'm going to move a copy down there. And then for the doorway one, I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. And I'm going to extrude out everything now except for the windows and doors. So EXT, enter, and I'm going to click on each one. And right away you might notice that there's some issues on this one. So let's go ahead and resolve them. So it looks like when I select this line, it kind of created a very wide polyline over here in addition to this shape. So because I know this part of the insulation, I'm going to select it and allocate it to the insulation layer. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn the insulation layer off just to see what I'm left with. And you can see that's, that's not quite what we're going for here. So I'll use the trim command to clip that segment off. And now it's individual components. Now chances are some of these might have suffered the same fate. So it's a good idea just to inspect it. it looks like this one did. So I'm going to select that one, allocate it to the insulation layer, and press close. It's just invisible right now but it's still there. Okay. So trim that off. And then over here, yep, same deal. Let's move that over. And then trim off the excess. Like that. Okay. I'm going to select that object, this object, that object, and then use the join command J enter to combine them. So now we should be good. I'm going to go ahead, select all of these objects now and allocate them to the insulation layer. And that's just the error that pops up when it's not on. And then I'll turn them back on. Okay. So that's looking much better now. Now we can actually extrude them. EXT enter and click on all of them except the doorway and the windows. Okay, I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go up. Uh, it looks like the corners are still having some issues. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and extrude these right now. So that's going to be a total of nine feet. Enter. And then I'm going to press escape twice and kind of try to figure out what happened here with the corners. So zoom out, zoom in, 
and they look solid, but sometimes AutoCAD just doesn't register properly. So let's go ahead and redraw them with a polyline. So P L, -L for polyline, enter. And I just want you to trace the outside with a polyline. Okay, a polyline is just a line that forms a singular object. So escape, enter to reactivate it here. So if I go over it like so, it should just form the exact same shape and it should extrude this time. Okay. So I'm going to press escape twice now. I should have four polylines. And just to help me see them, I'm going to turn off my insulation layer so you can kind of see those and it looks like those lost their insulation but we can go ahead add it in so extrude one two three and four enter and there we go total of nine units enter and now those are looking great i'm going to select these all and allocate them over to the insulation layer which i'm going to turn on perfect let's go ahead and combine these two things together now I think it's about time. So I'm going to use the move command to select everything here, press enter, and I'm going to move it from, let's think of the best place, from this corner here over to this corner here. Perfect. Okay, so I clicked, and let's take a look, and you can kind of see that all the insulation is in place. And if I go ahead and I change it from 2D wireframe over to shaded, it should look something like that. So that looks pretty magical right now. Okay, let's go ahead and add in this segment as well as the window segments. I'm gonna start with this, EXT, enter. I'm gonna select segment one and segment two, enter. Let's just go up to the window frame, and it's always easier to do uh, in, shade, in 2D wireframe mode, but I'm just gonna type in three, enter. So that puts these two portions into place, and I'm gonna allocate that to the insulation. Then for these two, let's move them into place first. Move, one, two, enter, and I'm gonna move it from this corner here over to this corner there. And then I'm going to extrude out these two. Yeah, that's tricky to select. So I'm going to switch it back over to 2D wireframe. That one. And that one. And we're going to go up to the top here. Okay. Change it back to shaded. Those look great as well. So one, two insulation layer and now we're left with the doorway here so to start i'm going to go back into 2d wireframe i'm going to make a copy of this wood segment over here and i'm going to put the copy i'm going to overlap the copy so copy select that enter and i'm going to take the copy but i'm just going to click it back on the same spot so there's actually two copies right now and i did that intentionally so I can cut out the center of this. So just uh, watch, and I'm going to use the move command to select that, enter, and move that up to the top here. Then I'm going to extrude it out, EXT, enter, enter to the top there, like so. Okay, I'm going to allocate that layer to the insulation layer. And then I'm going to use the subtract command, SUB, enter, to subtract one of the insides. Whoops, I used it wrong. SUB, so escape twice, SUB, enter, to subtract the big one, click on the big one, enter, from the small one, enter. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to see that the wood is now in between two padded layers of insulation. Okay, so in shaded mode, it looks something like that. Okay, we're going to continue this in part four. I'll see you then. Peace.